we're the Community C Team. My name is Eric Jackson. My name is Arthur. My name is Soria D'Amato. And my name is Nayara Pasul. Hello, my name is Eric Jackson, and I'm here to talk to you about Community C. Community C is our idea to create communities of cancer patients. These communities of cancer patients often use complementary and alternative therapies. We know that up to 50% of them do. Our goal is to create groups of patients that can be made aware of reliable complementary service providers in their geographic location with their healthcare provider data. They can participate in these services together, forming organic communities in those geographic areas. These communities will not only provide emotional support, but will allow shared knowledge to be passed between patients, allowing them to have the most updated information. These service providers will gain advantages from working in a collective group, uh, which will allow them to uh, bargain and have greater influence on the healthcare providers who don't necessarily provide coverage for these complementary therapies. Uh, the uh, follow-up studies on this project will hopefully show the success of the, these complementary therapies and these communities, and this will, uh, this will uh, show a reduce in medical costs and these reduced medical costs will make it profitable for the healthcare providers uh, to continue on and expand the site. And now I'm going to pass this on to Sari Damato, who's going to talk to you about these different types of alternative therapies. Some of the complementary therapies that we offer is acupuncture, which relieves nausea and certain types of pain, aromatherapy, which will help to relieve nausea, pain, and stress, Exercise can help you to manage symptoms like fatigue, stress, and trouble sleeping. Hypnosis can help you to relax, control your pain, and reduce your stress. It can also help prevent anticipatory nausea and vomiting from chemo. Massage will help relieve muscle tension, stress, and promote relaxation. It can also help with anxiety and fatigue. Relaxation techniques such as visual visualization exercises or progressive muscle relaxation can be helpful with relieving anxiety, fatigue, and can also help with sleep problems. Tai Chi can help to relieve stress, and yoga can help to, with stress relief, improving your sleep, and reducing fatigue. And now I'm gonna pass it off to Arthur to discuss the prototype. So that's what we have so far. Our prototype is based on online forms. Uh, these forms will gather information here. We said, we said on the last presentation. And with this information, we will, we will export it in a CSV file. Uh, another program will take it and split the data and put it into a database where you can query about uh, what are the groups, what are the most relevant activities and locations, and actually make uh, queries to come up with possible, possible communities that could emerge and work out. Uh, after we get these communities, these problem communities, we will mail the, then the suggestions to, back to the patients and they can organize themselves and gather into this new community in the area. And we, we hope that we will have a good impact, impact on the treatment. So that's it. Hi, my name is Nayara and I'll talk about uh, the impact of your project. So, uh, Today, uh, the majority of patients diagnosed with cancer, they choose to take uh, active work in the treatment. So they don't just want to do the conventional work and, and wait for this to have a result. So they, more and more patients are looking for uh, alternative treatment so they can, uh, they can do outside the, the treatment and for improve their treatment and for combat some side, side effects of of they can have with chemotherapy like nausea and acids. So your purpose is to give it to these patients a tool so they can find another patients that face them through the same problems that they face. And they can also find by this tool uh, a tool they can share and, and do it while, while they pass to the treatment. Uh, your purpose is not a point of care treatment, so it's, it's a tool uh, designed to the patient use at home. And addition of the, the benefits of the patient being a community of 
the integration and shared experience. This in a long term, uh, we can also collect uh, some data can can be helpful for for improve uh, cancer treatment and.